Hi guys, this is Tushar this side. So no more dual boot Windows and Linux. No more separate laptop for Linux and separate for Windows because Microsoft has introduced a very cool feature or rather a component in Windows 10 which is called Windows Subsystem for Linux. So today we'll be installing Linux on Windows or rather within Windows using the Windows Subsystem for Linux version 2. So before we proceed, just a few quick pointers. WSL is an official component of Windows 10, which basically allows you to run a sort of virtualized or containerized Linux environment from within the Windows 10. So basically you can now run core Linux programs or command line tools from within the Windows. In WSL 2 especially, Microsoft has shipped the full Linux kernel, um, making it more uh, Linux-like environment now, besides number of uh, performance improvements included in WSL 2 compared to WSL 1. There are a number of Linux distros already available on Microsoft Store, just like an app, so you can install any available uh, Linux distros available in the store and run them in parallel. All right, enough of theory, let's get cracking. There are two ways you can install a WSL2 or rather enable WSL2 and install Linux distros. One is uh, using the Microsoft Store uh, purely from the GUI and the other one is from the PowerShell command line. So in this video, I'll be taking you through purely the GUI installation workflow. So step one, check your system requirements, specifically the Windows version you're running which is very simple, simply use the WinWare utility to check the Windows version you are running. So, command line, WinWare, and here is your Windows version. I've got 20H2, which is quite the latest one. For installing WSL2, you need to have a version 1903 or higher. So, I am covered here. In case you are not, just run the Windows update to get the latest Windows build versions. Step two, enable the Windows subsystem for Linux on your Windows machine. You can do this from the control panel, optional features. So as a step two from the windows optional features, we will enable the WSL should be, which is here. Let's enable this, click OK and the installation starts. So once the installation is complete, the system would prompt you for uh, restarting the machine. But let's take a pause here and make a note that you really don't need to restart now if you are installing WSL2. In other words, if, if you intend to install WSL1, then it makes sense restarting now. Otherwise, just follow the next step and don't restart. Next, we will be enabling uh, another Windows feature called uh, Virtual Machine Platform. So let's head on to the Windows feature off and on wizard again. And let's navigate to virtual machine platform, which is here. Let's enable this, click OK. And the installation starts. So once the installation is complete, prompt you again to restart. And this time we are going to restart the system indeed. So let's restart. All right, so we are back after successfully restarting our system. So let's head on to next step. Since we are installing WSL2, we need to download and install the latest Linux kernel package. So head on to the download from this URL. And here you go on step four, download the Linux kernel update package. And let's install this. Click next. successfully completed the installation, so click finish. Because we are installing WSL2, so it's a good idea to set your default WSL version to two. So open the PowerShell and run as administrator. Now you need to execute the following command in PowerShell as running as administrator to set your WSL version to two, which is WSL set default version two Press enter and it's done. And now with this last step, we have got WSL2 fully enabled, installed on our system. So it's time to head on to Microsoft Store and install some Linux distros. So let's open the Microsoft Store. 
type in let's install Ubuntu first. So, and the latest one we have got here is Ubuntu 20.04 LTS. So, looks good. And simply click get. Continue with the installation. It might take a few minutes. So once the installation is complete, either you can launch it from here or you can actually go into your apps and you would see a new Linux distro present here. So let's click it and launch it. When you run it for the first time, it might take a minute while it is setting up the new Linux subsystem for you. And this is just a one-off setup. Now, when you launch it for the first time, it would ask you to set up a username and password for this Linux distro. And this is again a one-off step. So let's set it up. I will give it a name, password. So we are on Linux command line now from within the windows. All right, guys, it does look like a Linux uh, command line. So let's go ahead and try a few commands. So let's do, cool, that looks like a Linux path slash home slash username. Uh, let's try top. Cool, it does work. All right, what next? Let's uh, let's uh, try another one. Okay. So as you can see, it's got our uh, own bash profile. Uh -huh. Let's check out the mounts and drives. So. So. You have got your CD or whatever drives you got. So all mounted uh, mounted on this and available from within the Linux command line. As you can see here, I've got CD, E, G. That's excellent. Cool. All right, guys. So we have successfully installed Ubuntu on our Windows using the WSL version 2. Looks terribly simple. Um, and while we are at it, let's try to install Kali Linux as well, which can run in parallel with our Ubuntu. So let's head on to Microsoft Store. Let's type in Kali. And here we got Kali. Uh, it's funny how, how they appear like a like a, just like a Windows app. And let's get this one. All right, let's go ahead and install this one as well. So our Kali Linux is installing. All right, so let's, let's launch this one. And it will do the same thing. It will run some one-off installation scripts. So wait for a minute and then it will ask for um, setting up a username and password for this particular Linux test row. So which will be different from the one we have set up for Ubuntu. So let's give it a username and password. Cool. And here we are on the Kali Linux command line. Excellent. As you can see, we can run Linux test rows in parallel using the WSL, which is really a cool feature. All right, guys. So that's it for today. I hope you guys like the video and have fun with Linux on Windows. Bye-bye.